The 43 victims were women, most of them prostitutes, a few were hitchhikers. Their bodies were found months, even years after they disappeared. Complicating the investigation were rumors that police officers might have been involved in a murder or two. I can state flatly that no police officers were involved in the murder of any prostitutes. The most high profile victim was Donna Gentili, a prostitute and police informant. For years, rumors persisted that some San Diego police officers had a hand in her murder. When her friend Cynthia Main disappeared, there were more questions about cops. But the task force says this man killed Gentili and perhaps her friend. Ronald Porter is already serving time for killing another woman in the same series of murders. The uh, evidence we have would certainly preclude us from prosecuting anyone else. So your question is well taken, but are we about to charge him? No, not at this time. The task force says Porter may be responsible for 13 of the unsolved murders and that there may never be enough evidence to prosecute him on any of them. But because of the circumstances surrounding her death, People in the community and the press have assumed or suspected that maybe police officers were responsible for her killing. And that's been going on for years and years and years. Uh, by naming Mr. Porter as a suspect, it kind of takes a monkey off their back, and um, very conveniently. The DA praised the task force, calling it the most effective agency of its kind in the country. By phone, a former sheriff's investigator disagrees. I think to uh, accept uh, that that task force is the most successful task force in the country is an absurd statement. Street, one of the original members of the task force, was yanked from the agency. He says the San Diego Police Department got involved in the murder investigations for only one reason, damage control. Well, there certainly was an indication in the course of that investigation of motives to cover up. I had contacted police officers that were told that if they were caught talking to me, they would lose their jobs. The task force says 26 of the 43 murders are now solved. The five-year effort is winding down for good. Liz Purcell, News 8.